Hi, I'm Bipul Talukdar from Smart TV Technologies. Uh, welcome to Semi Israel Tech webinar on MEP protocol and Smart TV design IP offerings in the world of MEP. This is the agenda of the webinar. The agenda includes uh, the history of, of MEP with an overview of the MEP standard, and the MEP framework discussion, and typical application example, and discussion of the MEP specification categories with respective IP core example from Smart DB MEP design library. And finally, we discuss a little bit about the Smart DB advantage for the MEP design IPs. First off, MEP stands for Mobile Industry Processor Interface. MIP Alliance was formed in uh, 2003 by four founding companies, ARM, Nokia, SD, and Texas Instruments. And later, um, four more companies, including Intel, joined. And today, we have about like 300 member companies and contributing and non-contributing in companies included there. The basic uh, purpose of MIP Alliance is to serve companies that develop mobile influence devices. It develops um, hardware, software specifications for manufacturers to use to interconnect parts within a device. These devices are primarily smartphones, tablets, laptops, and, and some of the automobile industry uh, devices and Internet of Things, that's IoT. And MIP defines three new physical layer specification as well uh, to allow real world connections. They are D5 for the display, C5 for the cameras, and M5 for the memory and chip to chip interfaces. The MIP specification framework is broken down into four main parts the multimedia control and data, chip-to-chip -chip process communications, and debug and trace. It is broken down this way uh, because um, there are further uh, individual parts under each of these areas and they are classified via their functions. So this slide shows the big picture. Uh, it's pretty populated slide. Um, on left, you can see the various sections of the MEP framework, uh, uh, color is by the function. Uh, all our smartphones have most of these functions. The multimedia section contains all the user interfaces like touchscreen, display, possibly multiple cameras. And there are speakers, microphones, and Bluetooth, and possibly an FM radio in some cases uh, in that section. Um, the control and data section will contain power amp, LNA, a switch a antenna, tuner, uh, a battery and some sensors and the power management technology in general. Um, with chip to chip, uh, you will have communication between modems, storage devices and other communication pathways. The debug seems like a small piece here in this diagram, but it has a major role in enabling the users to debug issues in the devices. Uh, scattered among um, each of these applications, you will have the MIPI interfaces that contain the basic protocol smart DB will supply. On the right of that uh, slide, uh, it shows a complete system design uh, around an application processor that wraps in many MIPI applications to realize this design. The diagram also shows some non-MIPI applications here to completely realize the system. I'll talk first about the MIPI multimedia specifications. Uh, there are three layers, the application layer, the protocol layer, and the physical layer. The application layer is made up of the different uh, user interfaces of the mobile device, for example, camera, display, screen, the touchscreen, a memory, and audio. Uh, the key layer for a design IP provider like Smart TV is the protocol layer uh, because it contains all the various protocol uh, standard implementations. Uh, taking an example here, 
Um, there on the left is the camera serial interface in the diagram in the slide. And uh, this camera interface uh, work to set to talk to the cameras. Each of these protocols interfaces with the physical layer through the C5 directly or through the I3C bus to the CMOS layer on the physical side or through the UniPro bus to the M5 to the memory. Uh, moving to the right here in this diagram, uh, there is this display which uses the display serial interface and uses the display control set. Uh, this will connect through to the physical layer through the D5. Uh, the final set of applications are the audio, audio video. Uh, there are two protocols that were developed for these purposes, like the Slim Bus and the Soundware. Uh, these both connect to the CMOS IO directly. Uh, the AFI is used in automatic uh, automotive applications, which enables um, physical connections for the internet, uh, and also CAN and the flex ray within the automotive industry. Uh, here is a smart DB design IP example uh, for MIP multimedia. Uh, we pick the display serial um, <coughs> interface transmitter for that example. Uh, the core utilizes the two internal interfaces, the DPI and DBI, prior to the transmitter core block. Uh, the core packages uh, up the information and sends it off the processor through the D5. Uh, we have the display pixel interface and which is DPI and display bus interface, which is DPI, I pulled out a separate design IP as well. Uh, we also offer uh, other MIP multimedia design IPs such as DSI2, uh, CSI2, Soundwire. As, uh, Soundwire is uh, apparently the alternative method of handling audio, Bluetooth and radio information. So here we'll talk about the MIP control and data specifications. Again, it contains three layers, uh, application protocol and the physical layer. Uh, again, the key layer for smart TV is the protocol layer here because it contains the various protocols. And we take an example uh, from this diagram here, um, the RF front end, that is RFFE is the world standard for controlling RF front end subsystems. Um, so it is semi-automated and comprehensive control uh, of, that, of that type of environment. It can control up to 19 components, tuners, switches, and filters. The system power management interface um, <clears throat> uh, connects a power controller of a CPU to the IC voltage regulation system. Uh, it can monitor and control CPU performance levels. A uh, current release of the SPMI is at uh, 2.0 release in, that was done in 2012. So that was done some time ago. And uh, at SmartDB, we provide a pretty mature SPMI design IPs and the verification IP solutions. And um, other like, um, you know, custom, uh, customized SPMI protocols like uh, different uh, companies, uh, for example, the ASPMI uh, the, is uh, one of them and SmartDB provides like slave devices for the ASPMI protocol. So here's an example uh, for our MEP control and data core, which is the SPMI master core. Uh, here, the host controller interface uh, sends and receives commands from the SOC and sends it to the master FSM of the SPMI core uh, for the SPMI interface control. The system power management interface, uh, that which can be SPMI or SPMI, connects a power controller of a CPU to an IC voltage regulation system. So it can control, monitor and control CPU performance levels. Uh, we also offer an ASPMI uh, uh, slave, like I mentioned in the in our earlier slide. However, we do not provide a master on that. Uh, apparently, we are the only provider in the market um, uh, for an ASPMI slave. So here's an example of a more complex control and data core 
um, uh, from Smart DV. Uh, on the left, uh, I saw here a I3C controller core, and on the right, I saw a S master core. So <clears throat> apparently, um, uh, the I3C as such is a very complex protocol. And uh, however, uh, I3C was designed to you know, provide the uh, you know, sensor interface, uh, the various increasing number of sensor interfaces to the mobile processor. And uh, I, so smart DV I3C core that I saw here in this diagram, um, the controller supports both transmitter and receive function. And it, it, it can support that legacy I2C connections. And it does the DMA mode and uh, also uh, it, we provide it with or without the host command interface. And on top, we also provide another even more complex core, uh, which is the I3C S master that combines the master, secondary master and the slave functionality. And um, on, it supports everything what the I3C controller supports. On top, it also supports uh, in advanced features like uh, MCTP and also um, it, it, it can support uh, uh, like a ZX uh, transfer, uh, uh, so ZX specifications. So, so talk to us about about these cores if you are looking for something like this. So here um, in this slide, uh, we'll be talking about the MIP ship to ship communication specification. Here again, it contains three layers. Um, in the picture here, the RF baseband processor is interfaced through the uh, DIG RF, uh, that's DIZ RF, uh, high speed interface to the radio frequency I see here uh, in the picture. Uh, it, uh, it provides a high channel bandwidth for data intensive 4G, uh, intensive, uh, 4G uh, LTE applications. It's built on the M5 physical layer. The inter-process communication application utilizes two interfaces, a latency interface and a uniflow. Uh, both are on top of the M5 physical layer again. Here's an example from SmartDV design IP library, which is SmartDV UniPro core. The UniPro might connect to another device or processor. Uh, it contains both transmitter and the receiver functionality. It uses the M5. This implies that UniPro would communicate with memory devices. Smart DV UniPro IP works in tandem and is offered with Smart DV UFS Design IP. Uh, here on this slide, we are talking about MIP debug specifications. Uh, it has four layers uh, on top of application transport and interface layers. Uh, uh, it also adds another layer, which is the connectivity layer. Uh, and so that apparently is the is the literally the physical connectors on the phone. Uh, for example, say USB flavored connectivity. So essentially, the debug specs are set up to enable uh, debuggability on a device. Um, using the I3C say, version, I think the latest version of I3C on that is 1.1.1. Um, it has two pin access and can use native I3C communication to enable bare metal transfer of debug controls and data between a debug and test system and a target system, that's a transmitter. Uh, it allows all aspects of the mobile system to be debugged, power managed, and, and modems and application processors. Here in this example, uh, I picked the MIPI debug core and, and it also shows the optional different network adapters that we support, uh, which can be like SPP and STP and so on. Uh, uh, we support uh, uh, all the MIPI debug specific requirements and its relevant network adapters. Uh, on the right hand side of this diagram, uh, uh, we saw a block diagram of the system trace network adapter. So apparently these uh, network adapters we pull out as separate design IPs um, because uh, you know, uh, they come with um, you know, uh, uh, requirement how our user environment is. Um, so depending on the user requirement, we fine tune these network adapters and deliver together with our uh, MEP debug IP core. 
So here uh, I will discuss uh, something about what are the SmartDB MIPI design IP core advantages. The key benefits are many, but here are a few I'm summing it up. Like all our IPs are fully compliant to MIPI standards, uh, existing or evolving. Uh, we are working continuously uh, with MIPI, uh, um, you know, evolving MIPI specifications. And uh, we also validate all our IPs on FPGA and, and most of the, our IPs are like silicon proven. Initially, they come with a very low task-based, um, you know, test bench. There's an option for our users to purchase a full verification IP uh, suits for the IP, uh, for, for the design IPs. Our engineering team is pretty large. It's in, uh, you know, uh, in excess of 250 engineers. Uh, we are located in Bangalore. The R&D center is located in Bangalore in India. We work with our partners, um, like five partners, like Nanang, M31, Mixel, Cadence, and so on, uh, to provide our customers a complete and cost-effective uh, solution. Uh, we work with our customers until um, you know, bring up is complete. That's our specialty as compared to the other existing vendors in the market. And we do any required fine tuning on our IP and customization also we do with a quick turnaround time. And the next slide, I, you know, discuss a little bit how we do it. So here is a depiction of our uh, smart DV compiler. Uh, so smart DV design IPs are developed using an advanced compiler driven methodology. Uh, specifications are entered into the compiler using uh, proprietary higher level abstraction language and that generates readable correct by construction RTL. Uh, in addition to other metadata for delivery packets, um, we also produce a lot of our documentation from our compiler. Uh, that gives us an edge over our competition to be able to, you know, automate a lot of these, uh, you know, manual processes and come up with a solution or come up with a completed product much sooner. Uh, debugs and customization are done at higher level to produce a quick, error-free and highly linted code. Uh, this is our secret sauce, apparently. So why so smart DV? Right? We are MIPI design and verification IP core leader. Uh, beyond MIPI, we feature the largest portfolio of uh, design verification and uh, IP and design IP. The, that means that we likely have at least one what we need or all what you need. Uh, so talk to us. Uh, let's explore MIPI together. Thank you.